Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my tanning routine, how I get a streakless tan, and how I tan my back, tips and tricks. So if you guys are interested in this video, then keep on watching. I first like to start off by prepping my skin. I'm using this exfoliator pad and I just exfoliate my whole entire body with this but I definitely focus on my elbows, my knees, and my feet because those are the areas that tanner tends to stick to the most. I do also like to exfoliate my face. This one is from Juice Beauty. After I exfoliate, I do like to shave. I usually like to do this the night before just so that way I don't get those little dots all over my body. And for super smooth skin, I always use conditioner. Now, because I'm the type of person that never takes off my jewelry, like I sleep with it, shower with it, everything, I do have to take it off before I apply my tanner because if not, it will start to leave imprints and it's just not cute. So I make sure I take it off. <laughs> To finish prepping my skin, I apply lotion to only my hands, my feet, elbows, and knees. Pretty much all the places tanner is known to get darker and blotchy. I do try to pick a lotion that's not too oily just because if not, it will start to get streaky. For tanner, I do prefer mousses. This is Skinny Glow by Bikini Bod. It's called Skinny Glow just because it does help tighten and tone your body. It has guarana and caffeine in it. It does also help with the appearance of cellulite. Most importantly, this tanner gives you a very natural looking glow. For the application, I apply about two to three pumps um, to the velvet mitt and work in small sections at a time. So for this example, I'm just showing you the bottom part of my leg and I really work it into my leg until I don't see any lines. This tanner does have a color guard so you can see where you're applying it. Like I said, I just make sure that I blend it in. I work in circular motions until I feel as though it's well blended and I keep turning my arms, my legs in different directions so that way I can ensure that I got every piece or every part of my body. For my underarms, I make sure that I'm not wearing deodorant so that way the tanner doesn't stick and for my hands, I just lightly go over them um, with the mitt as well as my feet. And then eventually you'll see what I do with a brush. Right here you can see the difference between my top half and my stomach so you can already see how dark I was and how white my stomach was. So here's a little tip for those who struggle tanning your back. Um, this is what I do because I don't always have someone to help me tan my back. I just put it in the middle of a towel and I go back and forth with the bottom half and the top half and it does a really good job blending in the tanner. For my face, neck, hands, feet, elbows, I use a foundation brush. This just helps really get into the fine lines, especially on my neck. Helps get smaller areas like my face. And then for my hands, I'm able to get into like my knuckles and um, my toes. Also, it helps blend it out on my elbows and my knees as well. So I do like to use a foundation brush and I think that it's very helpful in getting a nice looking tan. So the longer you keep this tanner on, the darker you get. You only have to keep it on for a max of three hours and then you can rinse it off. The best part about it is that it's odorless and you don't have to worry about smelling it as you're waiting for it to get darker. So if you guys are interested in this tanner, I do have a 10% off code. I will leave everything in the description bar below. Please give this video a thumbs up if I gave you some cool tips and tricks or if you learned anything new. But that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.